I'm not putting on no fucking booties over my feet. Welcome to another vlog. Today is Sunday. It's like 6.50. Um, I'm still not quite adjusted to the time change, but I'm always a morning person, so that doesn't bother me at all, being up early in the morning. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. But today is a real estate day. I have an open house to host and i'm really 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 trying to get up these videos hopefully the videos that i'm editing today right now will be up already i mean i'm really trying like i really be trying but i be feeling like honestly all of the effort that i put forth in capturing the content and editing just doesn't resonate with the viewership and it's not about like money and monetization it is like what am I doing all this shit for? Like, I just be feeling like certain things. Actually, you know, and I have some items that I bought from Shein, which this is my last order with Shein. I'm done with them. That's just a hype. I'm over there. <laughs> I mean, I love that store. I love. Anyway, so I'm gonna get to trying to edit and make sense of this one video. If I get this video edited, I don't even have a thumbnail. So so I'm about to just make up some random ass thumbnail. Um, I'm okay with that. And my chit chat. <laughs> I was going off. Because it it's almost 7. And I want to be done with this by 10. I'm all Let me get to work. Like, I'm highly irritated now that I think about it. Like, go, go. Like, have you ever agreed to do something and then when you've got the full, full, full details, you like, ugh, why would I agree to do this shit? It's a total fucking inconvenience to me. I just got fucking got. Okay, you guys, so I am on my way to this open house. I don't even know I'm doing it. I am so pissed. Like, motherfucker, it's not even, ugh, I'm not, I can't even talk about it because I'm the stupid motherfucker that agreed to it. But anyway, um, the thing that's getting me the most right now is that I edited my chit chat rant video, which was very easy because I was just in the car. It was just two clips, super easy to edit. It took me about maybe 15, 20. But in the beginning, I, I, I changed the settings of the, the material of the files I said don't change the settings don't change the settings but I was just like let me try something different I don't know what I was thinking so when it was time to export it into media um I could no longer use the preset option for you it exported it into some other type of format and now it's taking an hour and 45 minutes to upload the shit to YouTube I had to walk away from the computer because I have to go and it was like on an hour and seven minutes so it's a great, it's a likelihood that it's not going to make it. And um, I deleted the files off of the memory card. So I can't even recreate it if I wanted to. Like I get rid of all the old, like, you know, base files when I finally get MP4 or whatever the file is. I get rid of all of the pieces that I got to that. So I can't even recreate it if I want to. I'm so mad. Something said don't touch that shit. I don't know what I was... What the fuck I thought. But yeah, I just want you guys to come and come with me today on this real, real on this real estate party. Um <clears throat> it's a condo in San Francisco we're going to see. Not going to see, going to host. Um 
this is the thing about the condo market here in the Bay Area and probably any and everywhere. No one wants a condo. They all want a single family home. They all want a backyard. They all want a, a flex space. They all want a home office ADU. And so condo market has been taking a big hit. It always takes a big hit. But especially in San Francisco because people are like, I don't have to live in this dirty ass, filthy ass city. Because San Francisco has turned into like homeless haven like in certain areas and where we're going soma south of market fucking homeless haven <laughs> but there's two one two three four five six seven eight million dollar condo by the ballpark and in, in homeless haven so yeah that's what we're going to do today i'm hosting from 12 to 2 i've got an hour to get there i ain't even gonna tell you like this motherfucking agent the keys are at one location and then I got to go get the keys and then drive to the condo, open up, do all that. And then after that open house, drive all the way back and put the keys up. And I'm like, that, that shit makes me hella mad. Like, and to think, no, and then he wants us to wear booties. I'm not putting on no fucking booties over my feet. No. So I'm going to be like, the people didn't want to put the booties on. Fucking booties. The fuck? I'm done with the OH. Why is my seat not all twisted up? Like, I don't even care. Like, how do I get to the fucking bridge? You guys can go, cause I ain't ready. So yeah, I'm gonna go over to the East Bay and look at a property for one of my clients. Um, I'm trying to get them in a single family home. They don't have realistic expectations when it comes to property values and not even property values it's basically what the market is doing and they want to pay what they want to pay and i get it because i'm the same type of shopper i don't want to overpay for anything and I, i'm not getting you know I, I get it but in real estate nobody gives a fuck how you feel nobody cares how much work you have to put into the property to make it livable for you the sellers like i've been living here for x amount of years fine by me and if you want to go spend or feel the need to spend twenty thousand or 15 or whatever 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 that's on you sis or bro just run me my doubt so anyway i'm gonna go look at this property that might be a backup because 
I don't think they're going to get their offer accepted. <sighs> Good positive vibes, positive vibes. So the, the crazy thing about real estate is that you have to have a proper advisor to tell you about the market. And it's not about, I want you to negotiate and fight for me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna be fighting a hopeless battle. So like, if I know watermelons cost $1.50, first of all, if I know something costs a certain amount of money or they could get a certain amount of money for something, I'm not gonna go in $5 short or like super low because there's too many other viable candidates or prospects or buyers to go in playing with people. Your realtor should be educating you on what the neighborhood is doing, what it's been doing, what you can leverage with regards to repairs um, and things that you just have to take and suck up as a new homeowner or buyer in this market. And so I have a call with my buyer like at three. I could probably call her now and get it over with. I'll wait until I pull over and call her because I just want to be focused when I have this conversation with her. I've been spending a lot of money in the last week on food and just going out, but like I don't feel like cooking. And um, I can go right down here to OSA after I um, look at this property and make this call. What is the address to this property? It's in North Oakland on 55th. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, four. <laughs> that was fucking weird. <laughs> um, uh, this one, I forgot it. Two bedrooms, one bath. Nope, not big enough. They're not gonna wanna offer 700,000 for this house. They're just not. Well, yeah. This is the type of shit that goes on in my head when I'm thinking about real estate. Real estate is just so, like, it's just so annoying. I'm so over real estate, like, so over it. But, very lucrative but it is so annoying <sighs> they're hours and they're not getting enough hours and I need more hours and I'm trying to get these hours and that's cool well I hope you get some hours to buy me dinner nigga because this is not fair most times <laughs> Good morning guys, like legit. My video finally posted. Remember I was talking about the video that was formatted incorrectly and it was taking a long time. Um, that's my second time watching it. It is so fucking funny. I'm not getting a lot of views on it. I understand I'm competing with a lot of different content providers and I'm not really competing. When I say that, I don't mean I'm actually competing. I mean, I just there's a lot of content, a lot of algorithm and programming put into YouTube to get certain content in front of certain people. But I just know if you're my subscriber, my family member, my friend, you're gonna run across that video and you're gonna die fucking laughing. I swear to God, cause I can't even believe I put all that up. I ain't shit, I ain't shit, I ain't gonna never be shit. Hey, I got a text message. Who is that? This is my Monday ritual. I wake up, I watch YouTube. I don't want fat on <laughs> that bacon. I need two hands for this sandwich. It's so good though. All right, my egg is so puffy. This bread though. Mm, 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 mm. Blew myself out of watching. 
a lot of vlog videos and influencer videos, content provider videos, because, you know, <clears throat> when you're trying to do something and you want to share, I was being influenced and, like, feeling pressured to pick up my camera and do stuff. And so, I was kind of, like, laying off on it for a minute, but... Mm-hmm. I'm back at it. I'm sorry how my face ain't greasy, and I'm just... Mm. Looks like they're having an in-person meeting today. Um, oh well, no reindeer games. Anyway, so I can go ahead and prepare this offer. So, this nigga would just go away. Like, ugh. So, hey you guys. <laughs> I just got a text message from you know who, and I'm just like, ugh. Like, I'm trying to figure out a way should I respond or, like, not. Like, because I haven't said nothing to him since, you know, the other day. Like, it's Monday and it's like, he going to work. And now that he's at work, he want to text me, like, because he ain't got shit else to do. You don't have to run, run me ragged and get on my fucking nerves. Just text today. Like, nothing is up. See how there's nothing in our log? Because I just delete Every time, delete. Finally get to open my packages. I actually started opening them already. I had ordered some stuff from Shein. Um, one night I was feeling a certain kind of way and I felt like shopping. And I was like, I don't need to spend no more money. But I was like, oh my God, you got some Shein money. Girl, go buy on Shein. I ordered some stuff. I ordered some boots. There were a pair of boots that I've been trying to get like at DSW or Macy's or wherever. Um, they're made by Guess and they can be, it's a regular black chunky boot and it has like the little triangle, the little Guess triangle. I really like the little Guess triangle because it reminds me of like Prada. We're all about the dupes. So I ended up ordering these off Shein because I was like, fuck it, I have Shein money. Let's see what they do. And they just don't have anything. And of course they're not real leather. So they're prone to get like really messed up at any given moment. So I'm thinking I really want to invest in a little pair of leather booties like this. But I'm gonna wear these now for the time being. I think these were only like $25. So I'm gonna wear these for the time being until I can really find the little black leather booties I want. Definitely not buying the Gucci ones. That's just fucking ridiculous, no. Um, I also got, and I haven't tried any of this stuff on, so hopefully it fits, but I got this green. I don't know why I got it, but I do know I got it. Because I like off the shoulder stuff. Large, oh my God, my titties are not gonna fit in here. I already know. Look, this shit is just too close together. I got big titties, blood. I'm so mad. I can't even hold it up. I'm so mad. And this is, I like the color. I know it's probably not really resonating um, with all this natural light, but oh, but this color is so pretty. Yeah. This is like the dusty rose. And I got these faux leather pants. Now, I've been on a hunt for faux leather pants, and I've been to Express, I've been to Aritzia. Aritzia has straight leg leather pants um, and I gotta get them tailored because they're tight everywhere but then they have this super large waist. So I'm, ooh, these got stretch. These got little pockets, little zipper. Ooh, oh, ooh, I hope, look, mm, let me try to slide it on one leg right now. Cause ooh, that would be so nice if it worked out. Ooh, Chinese on. Ooh, legs, please go over my butt, please. My little oh, uh, Amazon little onesie. I mean, uh, hey. Oh, they said high waist. This bullshit. Oh, oh. Excuse me. You you know what I gotta go march off and do. Man, they play too. Oh, I thought these were high waist. But yeah, see how it dips down in the back? It's, it's a low dipper. Not a true high waist, but you know what? For the price, 
I'm, I'm, I can't even be mad. I'm not sending nothing else back. These feel hella good. They feel good. <laughs> oh, I love these pants. I'm not, I'm about to make these work. Shoot. Yeah, the, the pants are a go. And actually, the bralette I tried on and it's perfect for loungewear for like in the house. My boobs fit just fine. They're not like spilling out on the side or anything like that actually. So boob, I guess I was wrong. But I would never lounge now that I'm thinking about it in G-strings like there's nothing comfortable about like something going up the crack of your ass and just lounging. Ouch, and these little things, they just be rolling up like I hate these. These are not don't even worry about it. Anyway, so that was from, you guys have any questions about like this waffle robe? This was from Amazon and another YouTuber recommended it to me. I mean, a lot of people wear the waffle robes. They get them from different places. Some are high end or whatever, but this one I got from Amazon and another YouTuber recommended it to me, Chelsea Janae. I watch her all the time. And like what I'm about to open up right now, uh, she recommended to me too. <laughs> she didn't recommend to me personally, but probably to me personally. Who said she was not talking to me personally? Um, it's the candle lighter. So, but again, you know when your candles burn down. Oh crap! What is all this? With all of these things that are like electronic and USB, you have to keep up with all these USB cords. And I just try to see if this cord is the same as any of the other ones I have, so I can throw these little things away. So do I have to? Oh shit, it's a laser. Wow. Um, let's see if it works. Let's see. Oh wow. But you, why, oh, maybe it's not ready. Oh shit. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> I'm hella weird, right? It works, so. I'm sure you guys have all seen these things. This on Instagram because, not Instagram, but YouTube. All of the influencers that are burning candles and shit are burning their shit with this. Come here. here is my second Amazon purchase. And I don't know, I think this thing is too big. So I needed a larger makeup organizer, but just a slightly larger. All I needed was like one drawer or like, a, like, a, I don't know. I don't have this much makeup, and that's for sure. We gonna see. So it's a larger one, again, from Amazon. This thing is heavy, too. And it's got one, two, three, four, seven. It's got seven drawers, and then, here, let me, wow, it's big, this month, I don't know. This might be too much. Here, let me show y'all the picture. It's this, but I don't think I need this much because I don't have that much. I just need a, ooh, ooh, a drawer. Um, oh, this just goes on top. I mean, they're all stackable, but wow. Oh, it's, mm, I like it. I'm sorry. So it's this, which has like, what is this? 16 slots for your makeup or whatever sticks. This empty square. This back here for brushes, I'm assuming, maybe. Um, but I've got a lot of brushes now. Not that many, but a lot. All these have little felts in them. Then they have like these, this next section that has like three skinny drawers, two more, one more skinny drawer, larger drawer. Um, I think this was like $25 on Amazon. And then here's the bottom. So yeah, this was actually 11 inches across where the one I have now is like nine inches. It's skinny like this. Cause I prefer for it not to be as cluttered versus having this huge ass thing. This is hella shit. But I could put like all my face creams and all the stuff that I've been collecting, right? That's why I needed it. Cause I got hella little serums and shit that I don't wanna put underneath the sink. You know, I wanna have them up top. I'm not completely mad at it. It's just really fucking big. <laughs> Ouch, these fucking pants, these fucking pants is cutting. So now for the main event, these are the things I bought from the mall when I went to um, the mall this weekend. And um, 
I have been looking for, I needed a new black handbag, period. I mean, I had bought an assortment of like random hobo bags, but I never bought any designer bag. I never really put a lot of thought into it. Um, but I had been seeing a lot of influencers online with this particular style of black bag or bag itself. And then one of my close friends has one, not as big, but she has one. She is a label whore. Um, I'm really frugal, like it's not even like, I can't afford it, but I just be stingy with my money. I be like, why would I spend 25 hundo for a bag that I'm not gonna wear all the time, but probably would, or even if I didn't, but I would have it. I know I go back and forth, back and forth, but I know once I start buying one, I'm not gonna stop. Like, I, that's how I get. Like, once I break, um, get over the hurdle, then it's no more apprehension. So I'll just be afraid to start some shit that I don't want to continue. So I um, did some research about this particular style of bag, and then I found some replica bags. Uh, not replica, but other designers that made this style of bag. And I was thinking about getting them. And that's what I went down to the mall for is to go in and see if they had this style bag at Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom's. Um, but they didn't have any of the. No, this not supposed to be the patent leather one. I'm hella mad. Hold on. I'm not even gonna show y'all because I'm hella mad because now I gotta really draw it back down there. I will draw it back down there today. I'm hella mad. And I and I made her give me a purse from the back, you know, that was wrapped up, not the, you know, off the sh counter or the shelf. It's the patent leather one. I'm not fucking with it. I'm hella mad. Ugh. I'm gonna show y'all though. It's this bag. <laughs> It looks like the YSL, you know, envelope bag. I love it. It has the chain, the top handle. Um, this bag feels heavy. It has some weight on it. It is not a little cheapy bag. I don't want to do too much with it because I know I'm about to take it back. But um, you can wear it as a crossbody. I love it. I love the design. I love it. And it's, ugh, this pad leather is freaking me out, period. I don't want it in patent leather. Do I? Do I? <laughs> I love it though, but this chain is for real. They not playing with you in this chain. Do not play with them in this chain, period. Do not, do not play with them in this chain. So how do you make it stay a uh, top handle bag? Oh, which you just gotta like control the chains. Um, and it's red on the inside. Like, I like that. It has really nice red interior detail. I don't know. I'm going to go down to Aldo. Um, maybe there's one up closer because I don't feel like driving back down to uh, San Jose and see if there's one closer and just exchange it. I know there's an Aldo in San Francisco, but San Francisco is just so dirty. Uh, I don't think I like the pan leather, but we go going to see. And then I got this other one. Make sure this motherfucker is not bullshit. It's not. And this one is kind of reminiscent of um, the Chanel quilt bag, which I don't know what they call. It. I don't know the names of them because I ain't wearing them. Which, like it's in nude. Um, again, it has a top handle, but you can make it a cross body as well. Um, this is so cute. I love this color, um, but what made me fall in love with the color first before I even saw the purse, because I, I just went in there just because I seen the black purse in the window, and I was like, oh, let me go see that. So I went in there, grabbed the black purse while she was going to get the black purse from the back. I was just looking for boots, because you know, I'm looking for some boots. And so I saw these. Dying over here, super adorable in nude. I love the chunky look. Um, I love this. It's like a three inch heel or 
three and a half inch him this might be four actually this might be four i don't know um but it looks so good and chunky and it looks so good on my foot this color looks so good with my skin tone like i don't even know how to explain it to you it just looks so like mm, like candy to me and i saw the bag and i was like fuck that i'm about to get that together so i'm good with this this is a go so um those are my designer dupe my dupe ysl bag and my dupe um chanel bag really good it's just really shiny on the back like oh hella fingerprints and i like that aldo doesn't put their insignia like uh, like they put theirs in the back like, okay, we know what y'all trying to do, but we still got to represent, but we're going to do a small right here. <laughs> it definitely doesn't look good with my robe. Hold on. I can't. Yes, my stomach, my body, I have that. I have that. So I have to be mindful of my posture. Shut up. It don't come for me, bitches. Um... <laughs> I think I do like the pack patent leather. So yeah, those are my purchases. I am gonna clean up all this bullshit cause I hate when I open up stuff and there's shit everywhere. I'm gonna cook dinner tonight and um, call it a, a, a day. So, <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> when I tell you sis looks crazy. Sis has on her little short pants, my little bralette that is actually super comfortable. It's for business. My desk is so dirty. I need to clean it. It's just all kinds of shit going on over here. But I hope. Yeah, my vlogs be crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot I had this on my lips. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is that? So, <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. I don't wear lipstick, but <laughs> I um, put together or swapped out my uh, makeup organizer. Oh, I already threw the other one away. And um, so I already just have instantly more space here, um, a few more spaces here. Again, I don't have a lot of makeup and this is the stuff that just stays in the house. You know, you have like lipsticks and stuff. They just go in your purse, but these kind of stay here. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I just have more space. Like the drawers are bigger. And I took the third, the the extra tier. Um, there's two more drawers, but which would have had it way up here. Like seriously, right? I took those and put them in my room. I'm gonna use them for jewelry for now because I just don't need it in here in the space but I didn't like that extra, that other one was huge. Anyway, so here are my um, like my go-tos, my little stuff here. Empty drawer, cause I downsized and threw a bunch of stuff away. Um, this is all the stuff I really don't really use a lot. But um, yes, so there was some lipstick. <laughs> there was some sample lipsticks from <laughs> Kat Von D or somebody, I don't even know. And I was like, let me see if I'm gonna even keep these. And so, <laughs> this shit looks crazy, I swear to God. Oh my God, I don't even have a makeup wipe. I have to... <laughs> oh, I know it's not that funny, but it's funny to me because I don't wear lipstick. I don't wear no pigmentation. Like, if I do, it's a nude, oh God, it's a nude or something. But I never wear, um, like, colors. Like, oh my God, no. I just feel like I can't pull it off. Anyway, that's hella funny. I got this hand soap from Target. I wanted to, it was a, you know how they have those little shit. It smells so good. It smells oud, like everything, like everything that's on there. Let me wash my hands right now because they that shit smells so good. Like, oh. Ooh, hope my hands are hella dirty. Oh my god, your hands are filthy. Mmm, mmm. This smells so good. Like, oh my god, this smells so good. It's my towel. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, well, it's dinner time. I was so hungry. I didn't really have time or did I want to make time to show you how I made my meal. This shit is still on my lips. I don't care. So this is my dinner. I made um, sauteed chicken breast and like um, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, and French salad dressing and marinated it in onions, garlic. I um, later added the carrots. I made some white rice and I mixed or tossed a little salad with cucumber tomato and a spring medley. Um, honestly, I think this might be the end of the vlog. Mm. Thank you so much again for spending time with me. And um, if you have any suggestions or any comments, or any words of encouragement or anything you'd like to share with me, please feel free to activate those comments. I do engage with people. And um, if you're interested in just seeing on a regular basis, um, I post heavily, madly on my Instagram stories. And my Instagram is Notorious KYM on Instagram. I don't really fucking TikTok too much because that's just too much fucking work. But I'm on the gram all the time. So if you ever just want to check in, actually see pictures and you know, when I be put together and not looking like a complete bum, check me out there. And until next time, I, again, I appreciate you guys. I love your support and God bless and I'll see you soon. Bye.